Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Starry here. I'm having a great day today. Now, I know it's been a minute since I posted some Valhalla gameplay, and by the way, this is a pre recorded introduction because before this, I was just raiding a lot, was what it looked like I was doing. So I just wanted to cut that out because we would have had like an entire hour before we even got to see the main storyline. And I just want to bring out the game as much as possible, but Genshin at the moment is my primary game. I'm going to keep posting more content for that, so don't worry about that. And I would have played this game a lot more, but Miles Morales came out, and that game is awesome. I've been trying to get a PS5 to no avail. I'm not lucky enough to get one yet, but definitely going to keep trying to get one as well. Hopefully Black Friday I can pick one up, who knows. So let's just dive into the game, alright? Alright guys, I finally made it back to Fjordenburg. So I'm planning on continuing like I said I would. Now, let's talk to Ranvi. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stubjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. I mean, knowing his character, that sounds pretty cowardice to him. But I agree with the king. I'd rather have allies. But I kind of get Eivor's point of view. So... Diplomacy is... I feel like that's the... This is a good response, but it's not the right one. All so. your talk of diplomacy is cowardice, not strategy. If you do not have the will to finish this fight, only say it. I will finish it when we are certain to win, Eivor. And that day is fast approaching. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own... Never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained until it's wiped clean. I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Mm, let's go see our... Older brother. I'm about to get that way of the bear real quick, actually. It unlocks a whole new node. That was expected, but... When dual wielding hold... Okay. That seems really useful if you... 
Like, I can imagine there's gonna be stats where you can break somebody's guard and then have extra bleed or something if they don't have any more armor on them. So, who knows? I might be looking too much into it. Hey, hey careful with that one! Hey, bud! See good! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood so drinker! Why have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, so cured by Kinga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's <laughs> just the start. Ranvi, my dear wife, your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes, Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us I don't know, they look pretty sus to me. By man. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kyotve the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. I want the sword that Sigurd has. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <sighs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome. So there's this banquet and I can't get a full meal? I mean full health? And beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes forged stranger. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. All right. I can speak with other people, all right. Andri. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> Uh, anyone else we can speak with? 
Oh, one of these guys. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago. To rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. So they're from Constantinople, which is AC1 and... I forgot the other one, Revelations type of time, and I'm pretty sure. I long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you in these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink! <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame! Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start! It's good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Hytham is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... and training. Please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. <laughs> the missing finger. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to- A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Okay, my impression might have been wrong. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. 
I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, a blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Some targets are more and cannot be assessed if the power is overwhelming. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. Okay. So climb up. Assassination is going to be while hanging from a ledge. That's it. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. Oh, it's been years since I've heard that noise. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Does anyone intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Why offer him the point? Surely we have more. Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous. I don't like Hytham. I know what you mean. They have learning to. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Gjotve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. I'm really hoping it doesn't pull a brotherhood where I go to bed and when I wake up... ...I'm being raided. Really hope it doesn't do that. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotve's warriors! How predictable. Okay, so that's I was right about it about it being resistance that you ignore. Now let's see where this one leads up to. A perfect attack. Press R1 again during a weapon swing to do more damage on the next hit. 
Okay. I'm just gonna keep going about my business and go this way. Just I want to see what all three paths lead towards. Okay, I'm gonna want this just because I like to. In most games where there's fighting involved, I like to rely on parries or to just get my timing down right. Deciding that then. Oh, I really hope nobody in my family's dead. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla, I'll outdrink you. Come, a little dice never caused any harm. What do you see? I guess they want me to head over here. No, I should pick this up. I'm honestly thinking about putting the thing just so I can know where I'm supposed to be heading because this is kind of like, like I don't mind looking for things, but I'd rather just get to my location, you know. I have a bad feeling. Just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our report while we can. We can bring just the news to the monsters, or we can wake him. Sigurd Stirbjörnson's head. Which is better? All right. When Yot returns, we weigh our next move. But I am not one for sticking around, hear me? Quit bawling, you babe. They may be drunk, but they're not dead. Stealth take... Stealthily... Stealthily taking down opponents one at a time can be the best course of action. Reveal nearby enemies using Odin's sight. When in proximity and in hidden space, attract them using a whistle. Alright. Oh, I held it. This man's got hops. Can I, like, get rid of... Yeah, remove all markers. I'm surprised they were this close to the village. But I guess these were some shitty spies. So. Up to full health, and I'll probably be able to start saving now. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God's evil. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that whaling village under Kyotre's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotre learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Am I not going to be taking command? They're off. Alright. Unless there's a conversation, I'm probably just going to edit this out. Warriors! Drink it! When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kirkves end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nokfal from Kirkve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow. It will burst from fear. Ah! He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon, the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. Ah! You know these isles best, Bootkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, hey, Warden. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevian did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. I wonder if there's gonna be a way to upgrade the ship so it can go faster. I must be careful now. Must grow in these waters. To 
supply wagons. We should destroy them. Okay, so I got here and I couldn't raid and I realized that this is the the same place that I had in the beginning of the video where I got the the throwing axe ability. So I kind of think I shouldn't raid any small parts that I see because then it's going to be boring like I kind of wish I hadn't raided it now. Can I? Why can't there just be an easier way to pull out the torch? You can tap R2 to just drop it. See, like right inside there, that's where we found uh, the throwing axe. At least it's easier this time. Nothing to fight. That was super easy. Ships are coming! about switching back to my axe, my 2H axe at least. Mm. Hail Raventlan! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthor, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kjotwe's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. We have common cause. Oh, yeah, I gotta Why know what's in it for him. To help us, King. Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kedway's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Kedway lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. I hope I don't have to kill him. Near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! 
Give us a hand. Hardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. The game could really teach you not to trust anybody and have this king i already forgot his name because i don't think he's that important if he betrays us and just double crosses us that's just gonna make us not want to trust anybody in the future of the game but like i i don't know who i want to align with because i haven't seen anybody else yet but i'll align with somebody who meets my expectations no one lesser than that Alright, so I'm gonna just call it off right here, and I'm gonna continue from here as soon as I get back on the game. I do appreciate the support on the videos. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, this is Staria signing out. Later, everybody. Goodbye.